yeah. I was raised in them days with the boxed up Chevys. Uh-huh. Socks with the flip flops, yeah. tank top with the long tees, real heavy, yell yeah, white light. I first got started all back, back in MMA yeah, 10, 11 years ago. I did a tough man contest that was on FX and it was purely boxing. And I actually met an old UFC vet uh, named Don Fry. He saw me, he saw that I was a tough kid, I guess you could say. I just kind of took a liking to, to Don, he took a liking to me. And uh, it's been since then, so Don Fry is the guy that got me into MMA. Free lunch was our food, see? It was cool though. And after school, bro, we would hit the course hard home. Growing up, I'm originally from Tucson, Arizona. I grew up there my whole life. I'm born and bred there. All I did was play baseball. I didn't care about anything else at that time growing up. I just wanted to play for the Dodgers. And uh, that was my dream. Um, I think my life hit a wall after I left high school and went to a junior college. I had a full ride for baseball. And I really thought that that was it. I wasn't going to have a regular job. I wasn't going to be regular anymore. I was going to go to college and after college become an LA Dodger. That was my dream. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. I got cut from the team because I didn't take it serious. I came home. I didn't know what to do. I, I really thought that uh, I was never going to have a regular job. And that was it. So. I found a job at a uh, grocery store, bagging groceries and stuff, and uh, that wasn't good enough. I, I saw people driving better cars, doing this, doing that, going places, having things I wanted. So, unfortunately, I met up with a couple guys, and um, I got into drug deal. I knew it wasn't right. Of course I knew it wasn't right. Um, I grew up with a great family who told me it wasn't right, so I still was working out. I still was in the gym when I was doing stuff like that. Something, yeah. Looking for a place to play, yeah. Barely getting in uh, the waves. They say it's the American way. American days. After a little while, I got caught, ended up going to prison. So I got caught and uh, I did three, three years in prison in Arizona. I had a lot of time to think in there and I was embarrassed by what I did. Um, I felt bad for my family. They came and saw me every weekend. I saw my mom crying and it just killed me. So I guess that's why now I push so hard and I work every day and I get to the gym. You know, the crack of dawn, I leave at night, and I basically I just live in the gym trying to fulfill my dream of, of, of being a top coach, of being a top trainer. It's a long road, but I'm still fighting demons. That's why I got involved with the Rock Church, and it's helping me out. Just two, three, four weeks ago, I, a month ago, I probably wouldn't have said church was a big part of my life. I would have been embarrassed, but now uh, I, I can't wait to go on Sundays. You know, I can't wait to go to that service, because. It just makes me feel better and it helps me zone in, you know? And I want to show people that went through the same things I did that you can still come out and fulfill your dreams and just chase them as long as you work hard.